Hello. I am gonna be painting again today. Um, I went camping this weekend and at the campsite that I went to there was one of those um, like library things that's basically a mailbox and you take a book leave a book kind of thing and um, I found this beauty and I'm so excited um, if you don't know me in real life or just my history I guess um, I have my bachelor's degree in anthropology so stuff like this very interesting to me I get all nerdy geeky um, when it comes to folklore and just history and culture in general um, so this book is so cool authors Yoshi Yoshitani her pictures in the back let's see that's her um, she's an illustrator for Disney uh, in 2020 when this book was written she was currently working on a graphic novel for DC Comics so she's really cool I have already looked through the book in its entirety I haven't read all the stories yet but I did look through all the pages and the art is just I mean are you kidding me like it's so simple but also so good at the same time so um, pretty much instantly when I opened the book I knew I wanted to try to paint one of the pictures she did and another reason was because when I did my last painting video not only was I learning how to paint because I don't paint on a normal basis I was figuring out how to use the paints but I also had to figure out the subject of the painting you know the flowers I had to figure out what I was going to paint and so I knew with my next painting I wanted to just copy something and so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna copy one of the paintings in here I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do this one because it's fairly simple it's like blue black red maybe some yellow um yeah so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna copy this um so let me just kind of speed this up here I'm gonna sketch it out just like the basics I'm not gonna do anything crazy um and then I'll be back okay all right, so while I speed this up and show you guys the drawing and painting process, I thought I would read you the story that is in the book written by Yoshi Yoshitani. So the snake that I'm drawing is Boy Tata. It's a Brazilian mythology story. And here it goes, I'm gonna read it. Legend has it that long ago, there once was a night that did not end. Deep in the Amazon forest, the night went on and on, lasting days and weeks and months. In this darkness, the people began to starve because they could not grow crops for food. It was too dark to see anything, too dark even to chop wood, to make into torches to burn. It became oppressive and all the animals and people began to grow scared. Then it began to rain. The rain went on and on with no end in sight. The forest began to flood and many of the animals and people, weak with hunger and cold, drowned in the endlessly rising waters. It was then that a huge snake sleeping on a log deep in the forest woke from its slumber. It woke feeling very hungry. It slithered easily through the wet forest because it knew how to swim and was accustomed to darkness. It began to eat all the dead floating animals, filling its belly to bursting. Eventually, because there were so many animals, the snake was able to feast on only its favorite part, the eyes. The eyes of the animals gleamed bright with the light of the last rays of sun the animals had seen. So with each eye the snake swallowed, the brighter the snake itself became. It ate so many eyes full of light that it became fire and with its brilliance banished the rain and the night and brought warmth back to the forest. The snake became known as Boy Tata. Now the Boy Tata 
is considered a protector of the forests and its fields. Its bright eyes can see perfectly in the dark, and it will kill anyone who tries to set fire to the forest, eating their eyes. Anyone who has the misfortune to see the snake will go blind, go insane, or even die. So that is the story written by Yoshi Yoshitani. It's a myth already and has been told by the indigenous peoples of this part of the world, but that is her take on the story. After doing some of my own research on this myth, because uh, this kind of stuff is fun to me, I found out that the name Boy Tata stands for Serpent of Fire, so Boy is snake or serpent, and Tata is fire, so Serpent of Fire. And this myth is from Br Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina. It's the Brazilian equivalent of the Will-o'-the-Wisp. And Will-o'-the-Wisps are like spirits or fairies. If you've seen the Disney movie Brave, there's Will-o'-the-Wisps in there. Um, they're just supposed to lead you to good fortune, basically. And yeah, that's what Boy Tata is. Um, they're a, a good spirit that helps protect the forest, which is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna get back to talking to the painting now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is the trust the process phase because it's not looking too good. <laughs> um, in my head, I knew that, you know, I did the red all in the background and the blue all in the background, even though it's going to be super dark and like covered up by trees because layers, I was just trying to do layers. Um, the trees look real dorky, but again, layers. Um... So yeah, I'm just like, trust the process, it'll get better. I did talk during the recording of this part, but um, I just wanted to speed it up because if I didn't, this video would be, I, I'm st still recording some uh, painting after this too, it'd be way too long. So I just decided to speed it up and kind of talk through, but look at that, like are you kidding me? That looks so cool. I love painting, it's so fun. Um, okay, so here I am mixing some more red, and I didn't want to go in on the head because it was still kind of wet. You saw how it blended in with the tree right there. I was trying to avoid that area, um, but I did need to darken up the snake, so that's what I was trying to do here. Darken it up. Again, layers. So that's what I'm doing. Going in and adding layers. Um, today, as we sp speak right now, as I'm doing this voiceover... I'm currently waiting for the first layer of acrylic to dry, and it got better, <laughs> and now this first layer of acrylic, it's in its, like, trust the process phase again, because I don't see it. I mean, it's pretty good. I think the fire is where I'm, like, really messing up, um, so I might just kind of try to ignore the fire and just make it a snake. Um, because it looks really weird. Anyway, okay, at this part of the painting, I'm trying to do the black background, and I'm trying to avoid the trees in my head now, looking at it, I'm like, why didn't I just go over the whole thing? Like, I went over that tree right there with black, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to do the background really black, and then I'm gonna go over the trees so the trees are a little bit lighter than the black background. Um, how it is now, it's the opposite. The trees are darker than the background. Um, Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the background while I wait for the snake to dry more so I can go over the snake again. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna let you watch the painting process here and put in some music.
is when I'm getting ready to add in my favorite part of this painting so far, the scales on the snake. I think they turned out so good. Um, I don't even remember filming this. <laughs> it's so funny. I thought I didn't get this on camera, but um, yeah, this part, after this part dries, it's my favorite part of the painting. And then it goes downhill again, <laughs> but I just love this. And I know the scales aren't like perfect and this shading on the face isn't perfect, but I just felt so cool doing this and it, I think it looks so good. Okay, so first I'm adding in a little bit more wind and I'm doing like a dry brush technique, trying to anyway, where you don't pick up that much paint and the paintbrush is a little bit dry. So I do that, add more wind while I wait for the red acrylic to dry on the, on the uh, snake. And then I go in, okay, here I am doing the white for the eyes because um, I couldn't just go in with blue over the red, it would look weird, so I did white first. And, let's see, okay, yeah, here's where I try to do the fire, and that was just a fail. Um, I end up just covering this up, <laughs> uh, which I talked about earlier, yeah, I just cover up the fire, because it wasn't looking good, the orange was not very opaque for some reason, so you can see there it's just like going over the red and you I don't know it just looked like weird splotches um so yeah I end up just covering this up with more red and putting the scales over it because it looked really bad and that part I cover up with black like look it was the orange was like mixing with the black for some reason even though that was dried for like two or three days I don't know okay here's the scales <laughs> I'm such a dork um I do go in and add more than what's just there. I like fix them a little bit, but this was definitely my favorite part. The scales turned out really good. It like pulled the whole painting together. Oh, and the eyes too. The eyes and the scales, just it, the little details, right? The little details always pull together the art that you're making. And yeah, it's like my favorite part. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Look, he has like a little mustache. He's so cute. <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a little bit different, but it was exciting for me because of the whole anthropology thing. I think I might do this a little bit more. I don't know if I'll use Yoshi Yoshitani's book again and maybe do some more of the stories in there. Um, and just talk about them because I think it's fun and not a lot of people know of the myths or like where they came from or like the will of the wisp how it's connected to this uh the fire snake in the forest that glows and protects protects the forest um yeah it's just fun it's cool to learn new things and learn about different people's cultures and anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and definitely go check out yoshi yoshitani I will link her social medias, uh, if I can find them, I'll link them down below for you so you can check her out, and yeah, enjoy the art, enjoy the story, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and just take care of yourself. Alright, bye now. you guys enjoyed again go check out yoshi yoshitani and her art and her books and everything i'll have her link down below